you know you will have $500,000 in your account when you retire. You want to be able to take monthly withdrawals from the account for a total of 30 years. Your retirement account earns 8% interest. How much will you be able to withdraw each month? Let's learn. Again, this is an annuity formula. We have a lump sum amount in a retirement account that we're withdrawing over time till it goes to zero, but that account also is gaining interest at the same time, okay? So we're pulling money out of this account. Let's highlight which values we know. All right, we're starting with 500,000 in our account. So that's our piece of bow, a $500,000 right there. Our regular withdrawal D, well, we want to be, we want to know how much we will be able to withdraw each month. We don't know that value. That is the value we're trying to find. We're trying to find the D value. The interest rate R, 8%, they tell us, at the decimal 0 0.08. The number of compounding periods K, we're telling it's monthly right here. So K is going to be 12, 12 months in a year. And the number of years we're planning to withdraw, we're trying to withdraw for 30 years. So our end value is going to equal to 30. So now what I'm going to do is take my annuity formula and plug in the values that we know, and then we're going to solve for D. P sub O, first part we know is 500,000. That is equal to the D value that we're supposed to find times a 1 minus parentheses 1 again, plus our R value is the decimal, 0 0.08, over our K value, which is 12. All to the power of negative N, 30, times K value, which is 12. We close the parentheses here. Now, we're dividing that whole right-hand side by R over K, which is 0 0.08 over 12. Now, I'm going to simplify what I can on the right-hand side here before I bring it over to the left. So, we still have a 500,000 equals D. And this whole numerator, rest of it, I'm going to kind of multiply that part out. I'm going to first do the 0 .08, 0 0.08 divided by 12, and that's 0 0.06 repeating. Let's add 1 to that, and that's 1.006 repeating. I'm then going to raise that to a negative 30 times 12. That gives me a 0 0.09144, and we take 1 subtracted by that number. And so that brings us a 0 0.908556-6276. And we're dividing that by this decimal of 0 0.08 over 12. Okay? And actually, let's go find that 0 0.08 over 12 right here. 0 0.08 divided by 12 is a 0 0.006 repeating forever. So let's go simplify these two things here. Actually, let's just multiply it over to the right-hand side, and then D's by itself. So it's a fraction here, so we can say 500,000 times, flip the fraction when we multiply it, 0 0.006 repeating over this large decimal, 0 0.908556-6276, is going to be equal to our D value. Multiplying that out, 0 0.006 repeating divided by this decimal, 0 0.908556-6276, gives me 0 0.007 uh, with 337, and multiply that by 500,000. And we get a D value by itself of $3,668.82 rounded. And so after all that, our, how much we can withdraw each month is $3,668.82. I hope you learned something here. And as always, thanks for watching.